in some of the training sessions that I lead for AutoSpring RVT, uh, I get a question about under mechanical settings and pipe settings, there's an area for conversion that references mains and branches. And, and the question is, you know, how does this relate to a sprinkler system? Well, the idea here is that, and I'll actually change this to fire protection, but is that you can set for when you're using generate layout the elevation for what would be your mains piping and the elevation for what would be your branch line piping. I've already got mine set to 8 feet and 9 feet respectively. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. I already have my sprinkler heads here set up as part of a network or a, um, or a system. I got them under fire protection wet. So when I click generate layout, it just connects the heads. Now this looks like we have some level of success, and if we look closer, we can see some colors being used. Uh, the blue in this case indicates a main, the green indicates the branch line. If we look in 3D, maybe this is what you want, but conventionally speaking, probably not. So how, how do we control this? Well, you can go and click on Edit Layout. change your elevations whoops missed that one so now I seemingly have what I want but notice this is still colored as a main if I go back into this view what if I didn't want my main here I wanted it up here you go to edit layout you can move whoops I keep missing it you can move that that main up to here but it didn't move any of that now what if though I decide to place a base over here. And um, maybe this is going to be a smaller main, two inch or something like that. You know, all that work I did changing elevations, it's now gone. If I go to my network, okay, you know, from a plan view, maybe, maybe this is what I'm after. But again, it's messed with all of these elevations. So I've got to go back in. Yeah, I want to go ahead and overwrite that. Change this here. All right. And now I'm going to go ahead and finish my layout. Now that I've set this up to a fine detail, you can see what it's done here and why having those pipes designated as mains or branch lines, why that's important. Uh, well, first off, Revit does what Revit does with sprinkler heads and it tries to make the pipes connected to the heads the same diameter as the heads. Definitely not what I want. So I'm going to go and change all of these to one inch, and I want these also to be one inch, or maybe even a little larger, depending. Perhaps I want these to be just a quarter, but we still have the issue in this case of the T's being rather large. So that's how the uh, under mechanical settings, how mains and branch lines tie into your your design as far as Revit sees it, and 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 honestly, uh, throughout this, I hope you can see why I don't use this tool. That that is a lot of fussing about for something so simple, and uh, and ultimately why. Let me go and undo this here. That is why whenever I'm drawing in 
my system. And I'll pick uh, actually the same diameter pipe. I chose to create a tool like this. For sprinkler design within uh, Auto Sprink RVT, so that I could easily get exactly what I was after from the beginning. <laughs> 